Hello, welcome to Business Statistics. In this lecture, I will discuss about P charts using Minitab Express. Uh, this is for uh, uh, Mac users. Uh, so we have our data set. These are the number of defective units. Uh, and uh, uh, in our first example, let's consider the number of uh, units uh, sampled to be 200 units. So to do a P chart, we have to go to statistics tab and then go to attributes and then we have P. So here the number of defective items column, we will select the defects and then all subgroups are the same size and the subgroup size will be 200 units. So uh, and then click OK. So you will get a P chart. Uh, since all our points are within the upper control limit and lower control limit, the process is in control. So now uh, we will use uh, different samples, uh, uh, number, uh, different number uh, samples. So this would be different uh, size samples. So we will again go to attributes, mm, uh, use P and then the number of defective items would be defects. And now I will change this subgroup sizes are in a column because we have different uh, sample sizes. Uh, we can kind of select our uh, column two, which is sampled and then click OK. So again, if you see, we have upper control limit, lower control limit, and uh, the, all our points are within the control limits. So our process is still in control. Uh, so this concludes our lecture on P charts using Minitab Express. Thank you.